Hey, a playa, is your crush currently dating someone and you're kind of just in that waiting period hoping that they break up soon so you could finally ask them out? In the meantime, there's something you should be doing. And I want to explain what that is right after this. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. It's a sucky situation to be in, having to watch your crush be happy with someone else. They get to hold them and hug them and kiss them, and you're just kind of on the sidelines waiting, hoping for your opportunity and chance. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. A lot of times when people have crushes, they solely focus only on that crush. They hope that when their crush breaks up, they'll have their chance, but in the meantime, who knows how long that can last. Sometimes relationships can end in a day or a week. Sometimes they last for a year. Are you going to be sitting around waiting for a year just for a chance with one person? Not even a guarantee, a chance with them? We sometimes feel like life is a romantic story that's going to play out perfectly. They'll eventually wake up and realize, wow, I don't like this person anymore and this person's been waiting for me all along, but that's not how life works. Chances are they'll break up with that person, they'll still have lingering feelings for a while, they'll be on and off with them here and there, and then if they do end up going out with you, they're still going to be thinking about them for a while. It takes time to process and move on from an old relationship, but a lot of times we just think that our crush is just going to give them up and focus on us. Meanwhile, while you're waiting, you're only hurting yourself. Think about it like this. While your crush is in a relationship with someone else, they're working on their relationship skills. They're learning how to communicate better, how to be there for a person, how to be a better boyfriend and a girlfriend, but you are just kind of hanging out not really doing much on your own. That's why I would recommend, even though you deeply care about your crush, to still pursue other people. To put yourself out there, even if it is just to talk to other people, to flirt with them, or to even casually date them. Building that experience will make it that much easier for you when your crush is single to actually approach them and to bring something new to the table. For example, let's say you tried to pursue your crush early on, but you were too nervous or scared, or you lack the confidence to really make it happen. Well, now that time has passed, your crush is going to hope to see that newfound confidence from you, and you're only going to build that by talking to other people. So when you do go back to your crush, when you finally do ask them out again when they're single, they're going to want to see that difference in you, that confidence, that newfound you that is ready to go out with them now that you didn't have before. But let's move from strategy to tactics here. Here are a few practical things I think you should be doing while you wait for your crush to be single. Number one, focus on personal development. If you spend time pursuing your hobbies and your goals, you're going to start to develop confidence in those areas of your life. And eventually that'll start to sprinkle into the relationship portion too. Second, try to spend more time hanging out with people of the opposite sex. I know for me growing up as a guy, hanging out with girls brought me such invaluable experience. It really showed me how girls think and operate and function. And it kind of gave me some insight into the girl world, things that girls are looking for that I just didn't know to actually pay attention to. In fact, I'm gonna link up a video over here to talk about the different kinds of female friendships I've had over the years and what I learned from them. And third, develop and pursue other crushes. Now I know, you may not currently like anyone else right now to the scale that you do this particular crush, but by talking to other people, by flirting with them, you might start to see that, hey, actually I like this other person more than this crush that I'm pining for. So you might want to develop something with them in the meantime. It gives you that experience of actually dating other people, which is going to be super helpful when your crush is single and you're ready to finally ask them out. Because no matter what you do, when your crush finally breaks up with that person, they're going to bring this new experience and evolved version of themselves to the table. And I know sometimes it's hard for you to kind of get past the fact that they're dating someone right now, which is why I want you to watch the video right over here, which are five steps you can take to get over your crush dating someone else. If you're hung up on them and you're not working on yourself, this video is going to help you break out of that cycle. And that note, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.